What's up, everybody? It's your boy Shazam, the iPad producer. Uh, some of you guys may know I'm an NI fanatic. Um, I I have all machines gear, a machine studio, Complete 61, and the uh, the Jam. I got the Complete Ultimate 10. But uh, I came across something today. What in the world is this? Is this the MK3? So, uh, I mean, whoa. It looks it looks pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. I really like it. It was on the forum and look at that. Oh my god, look at the the complete control. Like that looks sick. That looks sick right there. I mean you got the screens, you got those touch buttons, you got the same uh eight rotary knobs. It looks like they upgraded the buttons. They got rid of the uh touch strips. You got one right here. But it looks like the touch strips are gone. Touch strips are gone. You still got the light guide. Um, it's a little, I don't know, it's a little nicer, a little sleeker. Now, I'm assuming that this has audio inputs in the back of it. Although they didn't show, they didn't show them. And then check this out, man. Look at what, what, oh my God, look at that, look at that. Look at the machine, bro. And I, I don't think there's any, there's only, I think there's only one size now. There's not two sizes. So you got, I think this is it. This is the new machine, MK3. I don't know what they're officially calling it, but that's pretty dope, man. And it's got audio inputs, man. Look at that. You got your DC in, USB power. Ooh, it can be powered by just USB. That's dope. Pedal input, MIDI in and out. Line in and out. Uh, it looks like it's um, quarter or quarter inch uh, left and right. You got a mic input as well, quarter inch. Um, a mic gain knob, then you got your um, probably balanced le left and right out. Uh, your line out volume, that's kind of crazy. Your headphone volume, that's pretty dope, man. I mean, they really, they really stepped their game up. I guess that NPC standalone made them have to step their game up. Now, if this thing is standalone, I don't know if it's standalone. We're gonna have to go over the stats. I got the stats. All this shit was in German, so I had to go and Google Translate the shit after I found it. That's dope, man. You got two screens. I mean, they look, man, the pads are bigger and they're closer together, kind of like Beatmaker 3. So, you know, I'm going to like that. Yeah. I like that. I like where the, the starting. I like that, man. I hope they're clickies. Kind of like, uh, ooh, they changed up the, those are nice. It's from the old Dusty Butts. Those are nice. Nice. Pads look closer together, nicer, bigger. That's dope. That's dope, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, like I just said, all this shit was in German. So what I did is I went ahead and did an audio bus post. So I'm going to just go to the audio bus post and read what they said. You know what I'm saying? Just in time for the summer, baby. Apparently, this is coming out in October. October of this year, baby. Yeah. Uh, let's see what this thing's got. Okay, it's got an elegant new design. Uh, let me see. It's got a 96 kilohertz, 24-bit audio interface with stereo and microphone inputs. Yeah. It's got large pads for finger drumming made easier. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty dope. Uh, let me see. You can search for sounds, edit notes, samples, direct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. Focus room. Let me see. Uh... Oh, they brought the NKS format to, oh, that is dope. Ooh, the NKS format, that's dope. That's dope. That's pretty dope. Four dimension and push coder, okay. New smart strips for a completely new feel and play. Okay, because I was wondering, they, they look like they took away from some. This is powered supply by USB or power supply. That's pretty dope. Many other improvements. It looks like it's going to be, what, that says 599 euro. It says commercially available. October 5th. Oh my god, I need to save my ducats. Uh, what is that? $714? Okay, okay, what else has got? Smart keyboard controller. Okay, let's look about the... Oh, okay, they made two. They got a, a 49 and a 61. Apparently, they're not making the 88. Elegant new design. Fatal, let's see. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it have an audio interface? To, uh, okay, light guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rubberized pit, yeah. Okay, you should have put some pads on that mug. Man, if they would put pads on the MK2, oh my god. Improvement integration for transport control. Okay, that's dope. 
Okay, that's going to be, okay, that's what, $700 and $800 American? Commercially available? Okay. Okay, what's all this? Let me see. It now has its own sound card. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. I, I can say that they really changed the game putting a sound card on this thing. I mean, that's, that's pretty killer, man. I'm going to have to say I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm gonna have to get man. I'm gonna have to get back into computer. Well, I'm gonna have to get back into computer programming again, man. I've been doing a lot of iPad sound design, man, for my sound, uh, my iPad synth story that I got coming up. But uh, if you want to go ahead and check it out, man, go ahead and check this out on Audio Bus. You can look at all the stuff in English. So, uh, all right, it's your boy Shazam, the iPad producer. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this show. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy.